Did you know that when a woodpecker strikes the tree, the force generated is equal to crashing the wall at the speed of 16 miles per hour? And not just that, it can do so 20 times per second and about 12,000 times per day. Now for a human being, this much amount of force is more than enough to break the skull, cause concussions and burst eyeballs. So how does woodpecker withstand such high impact shocks? The answer lies in a series of adaptive features that woodpecker has evolved that make them tolerate such high forces. First, a woodpecker has a very strong skull which is much thicker than the skulls of other birds. If you look under the microscope, the surface of skull is porous and not smooth. This makes the skull spongy. The strong vibrations that are generated by drilling get dampened when they travel through a spongy surface as compared to a smooth one. The skull is also supported by a strong cartilage which provides cushion to the vibrating skull. And since cartilage and surrounding muscles are elastic in nature, this acts as a very good shock absorber. Woodpecker also has a very small brain as compared to its body size. In fact, the cavity of eyeballs are much bigger than the cavity of the brain. So this creates a very small brain weight by surface area ratio. This basically means that all the shock vibrations will travel through the skull and distribute it to the entire body very fast. And because of this, the impact of shock waves on brain is very less. Our brain is loosely packed in the skull. It is suspended in a fluid called cerebrospinal fluid or CSF. So when our head moves forward very fast and stops immediately, the brain inside our head is pushed forward and it collides with the skull causing a concussion. But woodpecker brain is very tightly packed into the skull and there is almost no cerebrospinal fluid. There is literally no space in the head for brain to move. Woodpecker eyes are protected by an extra layer of transparent eyelid. High speed photography images have revealed that just before the strike, this eyelid thickens and it prevents the eyes from literally popping out from its cavity, kind of like a seat belt. It also protects the eyes from high pressure and flying debris. The eyeballs are floating in a mucousy fluid. This viscous fluid acts as a cushion and shock absorber for the eyeballs. Woodpecker beak is very beautifully engineered. It has two layers, an outer covering and a thick internal bone that is directly connected to the skull. Now if you notice here, the internal lower beak is slightly longer than the upper beak. So when woodpecker strikes the tree, impact force travels through the outer covering and most of it is transferred to the lower beak and then travels to the rest of the body. This means very little amount of force is remained to transfer to upper beak and this protects the skull and brain. Woodpecker also has a very unique tongue. It originates in the nostrils, divides into two and passes over the skull and then joins back again in the mouth. This unusual sling-like architecture of the tongue could act as a shock absorber if it contracts just before the strike. So as you see, it's not just one thing but there are multiple adaptations that provide resistance against high impact forces. All these properties of woodpecker features are providing inspiration to scientists to create better shock absorbers to encase sensitive materials. Thanks for watching the video. If you found this video interesting, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.